Please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 29 from the legal material. Five seconds. Start. On all the aforesaid three aspects, issues and claims based thereupon, an additional issue was that whether the charges can be claimed retrospectively for a period of three years and can continue further even if the consumer files a fresh test load report and also deposits the inspection charges for conducting a fresh inspection. It is not disputed that in the tariff rules for the relevant year, there was no statutory provision for claiming the charges retrospectively. The claim for retrospective charges was only based upon office orders of the objector. The arbitrator has noticed the fact that these office orders were never published for information to the public. The counsel for the objector very fairly states that on this aspect of entitlement of claiming the charges retrospectively for three years, no objection has been preferred by the objector in this court and that consequently no challenge is laid on this aspect of the award. I therefore need not dilate any further on this aspect. I may incidentally note certain other findings of the arbitrator and which have a bearing of the facts of the present case. The arbitrator has noted that the petitioner gave a notice to the objector wide letter dated 37 1990 informing that the cistern concern Messrs Delta Electronics Private Limited had shifted from the premises in or about June 1990. The petitioner also deposited the reinspection charges. However, the fact of the matter is that in spite of the intimation and the deposit of the reinspection charges, the objector never carried out any inspection for many years and which inspection was only done on 5 5 1994 and which inspection in any case showed that there was no concern in the name of Messrs Delta Electronics Private Limited in the subject premises. On the aspect of load violation charges, the arbitrator has referred to the various provisions of the tariff rules defining connected load and sanctioned load. The arbitrator, on reference to the definitions, has found that the issue therefore pertains to violation of the sanctioned load only and not the connected load in as much as the MDI instrument did not support the stand of the objector that the load as found in the inspection dated 7-9-1989 was used by the petitioner. The scope of hearing objections to an award by means of a petition under section 30 and 33 of the Arbitration Act 1940 is well settled. 
it is necessary before the court can interfere with the award that the arbitrator must have misconducted himself or the proceedings stopped